So this man needs really no introduction. He's an accomplished performer, amazing vocalist and instrumentalist. It's Ellis Hall, and guess what? He is joining me on set, and I couldn't be more excited. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. It's such a joy to be here Woo! with Miss Anna on WJBF, The Dish. Thank you very much. Listen. <laughs> I got some chills. Thank you Woo! so much for what that. What a joy. Thank you wow. for having me here. And now, I think that yes. I think we're done. I'm, I'm <laughs> like in shock right now. She's right. You serenaded me. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> Thank you for that. God bless you. Now, listen, you're an incredible man. Not only are you very talented, but your story is amazing. Um, well, and so I want to touch on that a little yes. bit before we get further into what you do. Um, I'm but, honored to be the vessel. Yeah. That's for sure. I tell folks lovingly, I am the soundtrack of your life, though you didn't know it. Though you didn't know it. <laughs> there you go. Now listen, so you yes. were um, diagnosed with glaucoma? When Congenital you were... glaucoma, Con uh, a year into my birth, yes. Okay, wow, mm -hmm. and so it progressively got a little bit well, worse than you actually, your side, or tell me about that. Not, what happened was once my parents realized the condition mm -hmm. and what, how they notice is my brown eyes turned blue, not mm. to quote yeah. Crystal Gale or anything, but, <laughs> but they noticed that my eyes were blue. So they said my mom was very um, uh, chagrined. She mm -hmm. was very uh, sad about that and said, what's going on? <clears throat> so they decided because I was born in Savannah, Georgia mm -hmm. and lived That's in right. a place called Claxton, mm -hmm. about 50 miles uh, away from uh, Savannah. Uh, they said, we need, how do we get him in case he loses his mm -hmm. uh, vision? What do we do? to help him with his interdependence or to be able to make his own way. Now, I so want to say they sent you up to Boston. You yes. spent some time no, there. They, no, they didn't. They, we moved, the whole family uh -huh. moved up to Boston so uh -huh. I could go to Perkins School for the Blind in uh, Watertown, okay. Massachusetts. Yay, Perkins. Yeah. <laughs> and you know my son's named Boston. That's why it's oh, to me. <laughs> how cool is that? Yeah. See? So you spent time up at the school there with well, your family. Yeah, well, I went to school from K all the way through my 12th grade. Mm -hmm. Graduated in 70, proud of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, along the way, they were truly proponents for keeping music in the schools and mm -hmm. helping us to make our way. Uh, at about uh, the third grade, I learned how to play piano, although I wasn't serious about yeah. it. So I'd start trying to play these rock and roll licks instead of playing my Baca Tchaikovsky. <laughs> but every time the uh, teacher would come after playing my mm -hmm. rock, I'd switch right into the Bach. Yeah. And they say, Ellis Hall. Like I'm doing what I'm supposed to. Yeah, right, right, really. right. <laughs> exactly. So what was interesting is um, about 14 is when I really had what I call a very serious epiphany mm -hmm. uh, and learned that I could do my music with or without my uh, sight. Mm. So what I did is I went and with my good eye, I saw the looks on the faces mm -hmm. of the band as they were whipping the audience into shape. Yeah. And I said, that's what I'm That's supposed what to, I do. Want to do. Wow. And so I took up drums, basses, guitars, keys, and stuff. I told my wife and manager, mm -hmm. uh, Leala, I call her wife yeah. Wifeager. Wifeager. Wife Wifeager, that's go. right. <laughs> so I, I said, well, dog. She's in the house. She you is in the hi. house. Hey. hey. <laughs> she, I, she, I said, you married the whole band. I said, if you get tired of the bass player, throw them out and give the drummer some. <laughs> and you hey! know, that's what I was going to mention. You, yes. you are an instrumentalist. You can play just about anything or everything, Every, right? whatever, whatever it takes to make the groove happen or make yeah. you move your feet. You can do it. Yeah, yeah I, I do my best. Well, and what I thought was interesting is that when you, you realized at an early age that you were not going to have your vision anymore, and so you started practicing in the dark. That's exactly right. I would practice. Either if the lights were on, I'd turn them off, or I'd close my eyes, mm -hmm. or I'd even go as far as uh, go like in the closet mm -hmm. where it was real dark with my guitar yeah. so I could feel and not look at what was going on. Now, I know that some people can see that as a challenge, but you took it and you faced that challenge and you wanted to overcome it. Where did you find the strength and the courage to do that? Well... Now, again, I mentioned Perkins mm -hmm. showing or helping to show my interdependence mm -hmm. that I could get along and do what I had to do. Uh, there were people who wanted to help along the way, but make sure that I could do whatever I mm -hmm. needed to do. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. learned very early, the only party that I was going to avoid in my life was a pity party. Mm -hmm. So that's very, that's, 
a serious thing for me yeah. uh, to make sure that uh, as I go along, I uh, have a little fun with myself and make the audience feel at home too. Now you you say that you um, you quoted a PPD. Oh, right. I when they, we were in the break, yeah, you mentioned we, this to me. PPD. Come on, PPD. tell everybody what that is. Yeah, they call it's me, not postpartum depression. No, it's you, no, it's you not. You think it stands for something else, and it, that is it is uh, perseverance persistence and determination. That's right, that, and that's though. what it takes in order to get that's through right. those hard times and those struggles. So it really does. You're a clear example of that. God bless you. I, yeah. I'm, I, as I said, honored to be here on your fabulous show, mm -hmm. The Dish, mm -hmm. and uh, we celebrate, yeah. and tonight, because I know you're going to have mm -hmm. your face in the place. That's right. I'll be looking you're right be at you. I said, Miss Anna, she just <laughs> moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going to be performing tonight. Now it's yes. something called Soul Unlimited. Uh, yes, Ellis Hall. Soul Unlimited, and it takes songs, everything from the Beatles mm -hmm. to David <sighs> Bowie Beatles. and beyond. And what we do is I get to Ellisize them. Okay. Now, people talk Ellis about... Hashtag Ellisize. Hashtag. <laughs> and people talk about arrangements. I say, no, no, no. You are now in the zone of derangements. Ellis. Yeah. So we're going to do it the way Ellis does That's it. That's right. Right? <laughs> My dad, when, when he finds out that I'm going to this, he's yes. going to be so upset that he can't be here. He's uh, back in Texas. So shout out to him. Right? Shout out to him. <laughs> so tell me, um, yes. you... You speak of people wanting to help you and be mentors to you. Now, you were yes. what is called the protege of yes. Ray Charles. Yes, and working with him, <clears throat> excuse me, for the last few years of his life was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. And what's really funny, because I've had many lives in this business, mm -hmm. when George Vinson, one of my dearest friends, he found out that I had signed to Ray's label. And the only one besides Ray who was on this label, Crossover, uh -huh. he, he called him up because Ray said, well, that's my protege. And George <laughs> said, but I had him first. But I had him first. Take your <laughs> claim, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I love that. I still love that. Mm. And uh, uh, George and all these different people I've worked with over the years, mm -hmm. from the Tower of Power to the Temptations, yeah. the Spinners, Earth, Wind, and Fire, yeah. and on and on and on and on, just helped to get my musical education. Yeah, so what is that. something that you may have learned from him that you've carried with you? Well, he was the one who kind of opened up the symphony world because mm -hmm. <clears throat> for you go, good folk out there, I'm playing with an 81 piece orchestra and wow. I get to make them jam yes. more than what's on the paper. <laughs> but that's another thing. He says, uh, Ellis, you should be doing symphonies. Mm -hmm. And so I called him Papa Ray. I said, well, Papa Ray, how do I get into it? He said, let me make some phone calls. Yeah. I'll make them and then you walk in the door. <laughs> and there you have, right? And uh, never stopped since then. But working with him just enhanced my thought. Mm -hmm. I'm sure no, it encouraged you well, as well, there's, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. encouraged. There's no good music. Mm -hmm. No, there's only two kinds of music, good and bad. And if you ain't playing it from the heart, you know where it's going. Yeah, mm -mm. ain't good then, huh? No, <laughs> it ain't. And that's the whole thing. The audience, <clears throat> they don't know. They don't know if you're uh, technically, if you're not playing it for real. They mm -hmm. just feel it. Yes. And they won't respond. Yeah. So it's that electricity. So that's what you're hoping for is that oh, people always. do respond. And I'm sure they do, right? <laughs> well, I tell folks immediately, don't hold it inside because yeah. you can hurt yourself. And yeah. we haven't paid our insurance, so you better move. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, if they respond the way I did earlier, then you're doing something right, right? Oh, no, no. That's <laughs> amen. Yep. Yes. And so now tell me this. Um, you are also very passionate about um, being involved in bringing awareness to human trafficking. Oh now, my God, hopefully the, er the eradication mm -hmm. of it in our time, please Lord. One is Rock Against Trafficking, mm -hmm. and it features for the first CD, all Sting songs. Okay. And I'm honored to be featured on the song, Set Them Free, okay. and also Let Your Soul Be Your Pilot. Mm -hmm. And how blessed from that, the UN contacted mm -hmm. us and I got to uh, license two songs, one wow. called Be the Change mm -hmm. and the other one called Girl, You're Not in Kansas Anymore. Wow, okay, so, and so now this is going to help, all the funds go to help yes, raising awareness raising for human trafficking. Raising awareness and okay. the prevention eventually of it. 
and that is really something that has oh. become a huge problem around the world. Yes, and, and here it's within always the United been, States. Yeah. It's always been, oh, yeah. but now the light gets to be shined mm -hmm. strongly on it. Well, I we pray. appreciate the fact that you're doing that and through your music, really yes. raising awareness for yes. um, these kids, men, women that are in or dealing with human trafficking. So yes. we appreciate that. Now, if they wanted to get some more information, I know that there's a website. It's Rock against trafficking trafficking .com. Com. Mm -hmm. and if you're in um, if you're interested in getting more information about Ellis you can go to ellishall.com right all roads lead to ellishall.com <laughs> and we got our Facebook page at official Ellis yes. Hall and then we got the uh, music I mean I uh, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, uh, what is it? Ellis Hall Music. We're going to have to take a selfie so we can put it on Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See if we can break the, the internet. That's right. Well, <laughs> you know what? If you want more information on Ellis Hall, want to see him perform or get the um, human trafficking CD, right? Yes, yes, So yes. it's rockagainsttrafficking.com. Mm -hmm, you com. can go to their website and get yeah. more information about that. Absolutely. But